Hi, this is Mailtech, and I'm here with a quick commentary. Well, not really, because I'll simply be critiquing myself here, because hindsight is always 2020, and it bugs me when I've got footage where I did something when I could have done better. Anyway, I've cut the loading time, so no, Halo 4 does not load this fast, but it does load faster than LOL Reach, thankfully. So I started out with my... Um, I didn't have a loadout by then, because I couldn't unlock anything, so I just started with the default DMR loadout running around. I really couldn't find anyone at the first, just, you know, mindlessly running around until I noticed that the radar functioned much like Reaches, where it actually showed whether they were above me or below me, which was thankful because there's, there was a lot of speculation. There's a person, he tried to confuse me with a hologram, but no, I killed him. No, he did not rage quit. Someone came in halfway through this match, just as I have done. Netcode is slightly better than Halo Reach, so in a moment we will get back to the game. Any moment now. Black screens have always been a plague of Halo. I probably should have edited this out. <laughs> Well, at least we have the players there. Zero X Dawn Reaper X, MLG Gamertag, and FL, Big X Fierro. All these X's, cool kids, I'm telling you. So yeah, I'm just running around, and, and then I saw someone <laughs> panicking, didn't know what to do. I didn't aim correctly, so I got an assist out of that and died. I wasn't aiming properly when I should have done so much better. But unfortunately, I am not a good player. I'm a very, very uh, average gamer. But for my first game in Halo 4, it's not too shabby. I just need to be a little bit more aggressive. Lost the lead. Those damn holograms keep on bloody making me fall for them. That guy is just bunny hopping like he doesn't give a crap. But eventually I do kill him and he was using the Covenant Carbine which I will switch to whenever I can but I'm pretty sure the uh, DMR here is pretty OP. And I don't know where this guy went until I looked at my radar, I was like, ah, oh, screw it. Went in for the pummel and died because he returned the favour. So I shall have to be keeping an eye on the radar more often in the future and play a little bit more aggressively than I am currently. Of course, playing defensively again, but it, this time it pays off because I actually get a headshot and... No, not here. <laughs> I get overrun by someone with a scatter shot. And a terrible spawn, but I manage to run away and live for another day. And terrible grenade placement right there, but with less than half shield, I manage to actually kill this person without dying. Just trying to run back to a safe position. I should have probably picked that up. I didn't know what it was at the moment of playing it, but then, well, hindsight and these guys came along and raped me a new one. I should have noticed that that was a Promethean rocket launcher. That would have really been quite something to use. But no matter, I managed to get back and start killing. And if I had more ammo there, I'm pretty sure the battle rifle would have had more ammo in that situation, but it would have been also slightly weaker because I do think they did nerf it, along with the Covenant Carbine. So instead of a four-shot kill from Halo 3, it is now a five-shot kill, which is wrong, but I guess then's the brakes for 
optimization and balance. There was quite a bit of drama in Halo 2, I believe, where people complained about the battle rifle being a power weapon, using the scatter shot here. It's not too effective, actually. Jesus. Took me three shots to kill that guy in close quarters when the shotgun from Halo Reach was able to do pretty much that quicker. In less shots as well. Oh well. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be fucked. There's a guy with a overshield yet. Yeah. Uh, Alright, well. It's a nice game. It looks very, very nice. All the lighting effects and it's actually very well optimized this time around. I'm rather pleased with what they did in Halo 4, especially with um, 343 Industries. Oh, there's a guy over there. And um, yeah, they just did a bang up job on making it a decent game. And this guy just loves spraying and spamming grenades. I had to return the favor and run away, but nah, someone was up on top. So, one thing I noticed, this map usually plays around the top and bottom midsection. Sometimes fights, little brawls, go on in the corridors, the side corridors, but really it's concentrated around the staircases here. The bastard runs away, alright, after I pop his shields, and then his fuck buddy comes along and almost sprays and spams me with grenades, so the only thing I could do was run away and hope to not die. And again, here, I pop his shields, he runs away, I shoot the damn wall instead of his head, and then I get a face full of assault rifle rounds. So yeah, now they're just spam grenades in the one spot, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, you have a grenade as well. But I got a headshot out of that, so not too bad. Just looking for my next kill, I know they're going to be going up that staircase or ramp, or whatever you want to call it. So I'll lob a couple of fire bombs. I actually get a double kill out of that. Pretty nice. And I should have gotten... I should have gotten that grenade launcher pistol thing. I forgot what it's called. Because this guy, I could have easily killed him with a well-placed grenade. But, no, I did not get the final kill, because I wasn't on the offensive. I was playing defensively. So yes, for my first game, not too bad. So there you go, proof. <laughs> I get ranked up from SR1 all the way to SR3 for my first game. I'm using Scanner for my helmet because it is that damn retro and I love it. So there you have the scoreboard, I go 17 to 10 with 3 assists, and the medals that I get. Ah, headshot, melee, double kills, and the sword. Catch around.